founding member of NATO and a member of the European Union, France has a long-standing policy of independence and autonomy when it comes to its own military industry. The belief that political and strategic independence can only be maintained if the country has an independent military is a reason why, when other European military complexes have either disappeared or become a shell of their former glory, the French military complex still is a major player fulfilling the needs of not just the French, but global armed forces too. Rafale is one such product. Rafale translates into a gust of wind, which continues to distort the tradition of naming their fighter aircraft after atmospheric phenomena. For example, some Dassault Mirage, Dassault Argonne, etc. Rafale is a twin-engine multi-role aircraft featuring a delta wing, close-coupled canards. This allows it to be extremely agile and highly maneuverable, coupled with its sophisticated fly-by-wire flight control system. Its handling characteristics become exceptional. During the late 70s, both the French Air Force and the French Navy realized that their fleet consisted of too many types of aircraft, and for better synergy and operational optimization, they needed to consolidate the fleet into a single aircraft capable of performing multiple roles. The plan was to develop the fighter aircraft in collaboration with multiple other nations, as this would reduce the cost of development and increase the order size, inevitably leading to a lower budget cost, the economy of scale. Your friend joined the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain to develop what was then called the European Combat Aircraft, ECF. This plan, however, did not last, as there were considerable differences and operational requirements between France and other partners. Also, there were disagreements regarding design considerations and work sharing. This led to the French withdrawal from the program and developing their own fighter independently. By the middle of the year 1986, France successfully conducted the first flight of their technology demonstrator version called Rafale A. This version was a very bare-bones version of the Rafale, which lacked several features, including the American GF404 engine as the French M88 engine was still under development. The French chose to go this route of slow, incremental upgrades over time to avoid any major halts in the program and to minimize the risks associated with aircraft development. As the program progressed and confidence grew, subsystems were added, and critical systems like the American engine were replaced with the French M88. The development of various versions of Rafale was then given approval by the French government, and two versions for Air Force and one version for the Navy, Rafale B, a two-seater version for Air Force and Rafale C, a single-seater version for Air Force. Rafale M, a single-seater naval variant, was developed for the French Navy, capable of operating from an aircraft carrier. The disintegration of the Soviet Union and the end of the World War led to a period of budget cuts, causing delays in the production and deployment of Rafale. The French Navy was the first to induct the Rafale M and started operations in the year 2002, followed by the French Air Force with their versions. The incremental upgradation did not stop at the development and testing process, over the years, the same philosophy has continued. The initial production version of Rafale was not multi-role at all during the F-1. This version was basically just capable of air-to-air -air roles and could not perform air-to-ground missions. The air-to-ground capabilities were added, requiring systems like laser-guided warm NGP and scalp air-to-ground missile integrated into the aircraft, and it was dubbed the F-2 standard. By the end of 2000, the F-3 standard was launched, allowing the aircraft to be nuclear strike capable, with other systems like state-of-the-art reconnaissance pods, more versatile weapons, including the latest air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship missiles. The F-3 standard, in itself, saw quite a few incremental upgrades, and the latest iteration in FB is the F-3R, which is equipped with state-of-the-art ISA radar, spectrum electronic warfare suite, and arguably the best air-to-air -air missile in the world, Meteor. India has also ordered 36 Rafale aircraft for its Air Force, all of which are with IAF. 
Today, these Indian Rafale have been tailor-made as per IAF requirements and Rafale F3 are with Indian-specific enhancements, which further improve their versatility and give even better performance to an already world-class aircraft. The Indian Navy is also closing in on a deal for 26 Rafale fighters for its aircraft carriers, which will also have these Indian-specific enhancements. The latest variant is that the F4.1 is just around the corner and will ensure that Rafale will stay up to date and be able to counter the emerging threats on the horizon. This incremental and continuous upgrade philosophy has paid off, and Rafale's export success is one for the history books. Today, Rafale is in high demand globally, and the orders are packed and still growing. Rafale might translate into a gust of wind, but it has taken the world by storm. Thanks for watching. If you like our efforts, please do like and subscribe to our channel Breaking Broadcast.